So he's on O'Reilly's uh, TV show uh, yesterday on uh, the Fox Network, and uh, he's busy. Uh, oh, that's that's who's carrying O'Reilly right now. Yeah, and he talks about how the Fourteenth Amendment doesn't apply to uh, children of uh, Mexicans. Right. Uh, so they shouldn't be citizens just because they're shouldn't. born in the United States. Um, and his legal reasoning, as you'll hear, very sound. <laughs> the, uh, uh, he sounds, and I don't know what his deal is, and perhaps he's had some sort of illness, and if that's the case, I apologize ahead of time. But he sounds like he spent a good part of the day uh, at, uh, at a... At a uh, at a Mesa bar. <laughs> okay, let's listen to him. Let's yeah. listen. This is uh, State Senator Russell Pierce of Arizona. The law says any baby born in the United States under any circumstance is a U.S. citizen, and you want the state of Arizona to override that law? First of all, that's not the law. It's an unconstitutional declaration of citizenship to those born. In the in the Wong Kim. Uh, uh, decision before the Supreme Court it made it very clear and the statements from the senators at the time when the 14th Amendment was written made it clear it did not pertain to aliens and those who we did not have who had did not have legal domicile in the United States it's the most irrational and self-defeating uh, uh, provision you could have what do you want to stop, stop it exactly I want to bring a little common sense and integrity back it's illegal to enter the United States and yet we're going to great, create the greatest inducement to breaking your law in or illegally, and that's make your baby a citizen. It had to do with domicile. No other country does this. The 14th Amendment doesn't do okay, this. But what do it's you an unconstitutional declaration. The law will say that we'll recognize the birth. We will not recognize that birth as a citizen entitled to the welfare right, state, so in Arizona, the, the, the programs of this state. In Arizona, the baby won't be an American, but in the 49 other states, it will be. Well, I'm hoping that they'll catch on, just like they are with my bill 1070. Right. I'm hoping the rest of the government will catch on. He restores some integrity and some common sense to this country. Enough 63 of bottles of beer <laughs> on the wall. Uh, the, 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 you know, we'll recognize I, the birth. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. Great. Well, uh, uh, thank you. No, yeah. but, you know, for him, that's probably a concession. <laughs> right. Exactly. But, right. but what I do, what, what's amazing is I would love to get these people to say, okay, we will try your bill. But we're, we're going to exclude Mexicans. But I think your bill is a great idea. Right. right? So we're going to get, like, those Bulgarians who just kind of right. never went back on their tourist visa. And we're going to get the, you know, right. some of those Brits who came over here as summer camp counselors and never left. But and to say nothing of the previously mentioned Habs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Those Canadians. So we like your idea, Senator. Yeah, but let's just not do it with Mexicans it's for a while. It's a little touchy so, right yeah, now with the Mexicans. It's a yeah. hot it's a it's hot a, issue exactly, right now. Yeah. Yeah. See, see if he adopts it then. Um, so, and look, you know, uh, before uh, anyone, uh, not that you would, uh, accuses us of, uh, like, just uh, playing a soundbite from some, you know, uh, crackpot, yeah. uh, again, this is the sponsor of the Support Our Law Enforcement and Safe Neighborhoods Act. Yeah. I mean, there is Selesna. no... This is the sponsor of Selesna, uh, the sort of most uh, relevant piece of social legislation uh, of the year.